good morning everyone welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new here so i am out of covid iso um if you watched my last video i had covid from when i can't even remember when i tested well i came out of isolation this sunday that just went by so that was good um the first five days was bloody kind of hard because i was sick um, I had a temperature and I felt terrible but then the last five days went by quicker and I was working um, I think my symptoms are a lot better now um, I still feel tired but that's okay I'm getting better um, so I'm very very thankful for that so I'm just gonna do probably like a general what I eat in a day um, I'm gonna show you guys this collagen that I've been drinking um, my nails like I don't know if you can let me just position the camera like that it's not gonna focus anyway so there we go my nails they're my real nails I had red French tip um, like a month ago to be honest that is how much it's grown they are so long i've never had nails this long before they're strong there were moments where i thought i was going to break them when i like grabbed something or when i went boxing um but they are so strong and i honestly think the collagen has helped i will do a quick um review about it soon i'm just kind of doing some work and i might make lunch in a second and i'll show you guys um that in a moment Okay, so because my appetite has still been a bit low, I'm just having like a, oh, I didn't even toast, that's fine. Just like a turkey, avo and cheese sandwich and two figs from my, well, my parents' garden. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly sit down and talk about the collagen that I received from the collagen co, who was very lo lovely to send me three different flavours. I got sent so we've got passion fruit strawberry watermelon so I haven't tried that one yet um, I will probably try that one later on so I've been having the passion fruit mango and I'll put it in um, last time I had it I, I mix it up and then I put it in the fridge or you can just obviously have cold water or you can pop it in juice or a smoothie but if you're a sweet tooth like me it is actually so good to have because i feel like it curbs that um that what's the word um that craving um but it's also like very low in calories which is great and it has amazing benefits which i'll talk about and then i've got the unflavored one so this one i've used the most because i do love my smoothies during summertime so just pop that in a smoothie with all the other ingredients you can't even taste it you don't even know that it's in there that's if you don't want to have a flavored one so the great thing about the collagen um, is that it has 15 grams of uh, collagen per serve. So the little sachets, I don't want to open that one yet. So I'll show you this one. It's a little sachet just like that. Oops. It's probably not going to, there we go. And it talks about um, all the benefits on there and it's got everything else on the back there. So it's great. It's so handy. All you have to do is just pop that in your glass or your smoothie. You don't even have to measure it yourself because that's a serving there. So I never really knew much about collagen a couple of years ago or how important it is in our um, everyday, I guess, diet and routine. So essentially, as we actually age... Our natural uh, collagen production actually slows down, which causes like wrinkles, um, fine lines, your hair can go like thinner, um, your nails can break and they're not as healthy. So with me personally, my skin hasn't been the best since COVID um, and wearing masks. My nails have been terrible since a experience I had at a salon, which I might actually pop the photo up here. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but... I gave them a, a Google review, so you'll see the photo here. Um, and ever since taking the collagen, like I mentioned earlier in this video, my nails are so long. Um, it's, it's crazy. I've never had such long nails, and I'm so surprised I haven't broken them. Because there have been moments when I literally grabbed something and 
I've sort of like heard my nail, like just like the smacking, and I thought, oh my god, I broke my nail. They have not broken. It is crazy, and I'm honestly, I truly believe it's because I've been on top of my collagen and I've been having it daily. So 100%, I do believe they've gotten stronger and they've grown out really quickly because of that. Also, I naturally have very thin hair and I don't have much of it. So I'm still going to continue taking all of uh, the collagen. Like I said, I've only had it for a couple of weeks now, but I have definitely noticed a bit of clearing in my pimple area on my skin and my nails have strengthened a lot. So those are the two things I have noticed and I'm excited to see if my hair starts to grow a little bit more around here. Um, so I'll probably take a photo and I might actually share it in a few videos time just to let you guys um, know and keep you updated. So I am just going to... I actually might make one of the collagens. Actually, I think I'm going to try the strawberry watermelon. I haven't tried it, so I'm going to do that right now, actually. Perfect. I'm going to get some cold water because I am sweating. Um, for some reason, sometimes when I talk in front of the camera, I just start sweating, which is crazy. Okay. Please ignore my outfit. This is my work from home outfit, tank top and trackies. Okay, so I made my drink. How cool is that pink color? Love pink. Mmm. Okay, that is good. If you love sweet stuff and sugar like me, Wow, it tastes so like like some sort of lolly, like a strawberry watermelon lolly, but I don't know, it's like reminding me of something from my childhood and I can't think of what. Maybe bubble gum. That's delicious. And it's so good how like easily you can drink it. I don't like taking whatever supplement it is, I don't really like taking it in tablet form. I prefer to drink it. Especially if it tastes good and it's so easy to just get into your diet. So that is amazing. I think that's my favorite one. Oh, but I do like the passion fruit mango. I can't decide. It's really good. But like I said, I will link, um, and I'll link their website, their Instagram and everything below with my discount code. So please check them out. If you're honestly having any issues with your hair thinning, um, your skin, your nails, definitely uh, purchase a pack. Give it a go, make sure you're having at least one sachet a day. And honestly, in like a few weeks, you would definitely notice a difference. So I'm just gonna finish off some work that I'm doing. Um, I'm hoping to go to the gym later. I went for a run yesterday, the first time since COVID. And I think I did five ovals, no, five ovals. See, this is what I mean when I say I've still got like some COVID brain. Um, I've been saying my sentences so badly recently, I don't know why. Um, I did five laps of an oval, which was 2.5 kilometers. I was sweating and I was running so slow. Like for me, that was slow. I felt like my partner, he started like walking as I was like running next to him. Like that's, yeah, I've gone really unfit, but it's fine. I, I do like a challenge. So the challenge is obviously to get back to my old fitness level which is totally fine we'll get there um but I might go to the gym later and do a very very light workout it'll be my first gym session in i don't know two and a half weeks maybe so i'll see if i'll take you guys along i'm not too sure i don't like filming in a gym because i'm just terrified i'm just so so scared but i'll take you guys along show you what i have for dinner tonight um and this, yeah, this video will probably be more so like getting back on tra track, which I kind of don't like naming things like that. So we shall see. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I was meant to go to the gym, but thought like, look, there's not a single cloud in the sky and summer has ended, but like it's still really warm every day so I may as well utilize this sunny day and get some vitamin D get some tan um, and yeah I'm not really fond off the gym right now because it's been so long 
since I last went, I'm just kind of over the whole like kind of like bodybuilding type of exercises. So I'm just liking like walks and all of that. So I'm just gonna probably do about seven to eight k's, and then I'll show you guys my dinner. Just gonna Zambreros to get a burrito. I was gonna Uber Eats, but for some reason on Uber Eats, it's like three dollars more for a burrito plus delivery, which is so rude. I never realized that Uber Eats ups the prices. Okay, so, wow, I do not look cute. So, after I had that sombrero, um, just taking my makeup off, by the way, washing my face. Um, after I had that sombrero, I went and had another hot cross bun, a chocolate hot cross bun which was so amazing. Um, I looked at the calories in the back and I was kind of like, eh, a bit steep, but um, <sighs> with me like trying to get back on track and trying to get sort of that like, kind of like fitness level slash, I guess, body that I feel kind of good in and, and confident in, I don't want to be like super strict and diet and stuff because when I do that, if I step up, I get really upset and then I'm like, oh my God, I need to go like, you know, do 10 workouts in a day to get rid of that. So that's why I'm still allowing myself to have little things um, here and there, just so I can still kind of, you know, I guess be intuitive about it and still like, like on Sunday, I'm going out to eat and I'm going to a restaurant where there'll be shared food and of course I'm going to overeat naturally and I'm gonna have a cocktail so if I was like full-on dieting and um, you know a day like that would come up I would feel so guilty after that day because I've been eating so perfectly clean and whatever and then I ruined it however if I eat quite balanced and have those little cheats or whatever you want to call them here and there I won't feel as guilty or just feel like normal um, but I do need to start working out again. Like, like you saw, I didn't go to the gym. I just went to the beach. We did 6Ks, which is good. Um, that's still good. Like walking is so underrated. But I really need to get it together. And yeah, I just need to like feel strong again. Like I don't feel strong. I feel a bit mm, after like COVID and eating and like yeah i don't know i just don't really feel myself completely and which is fine i know that that can happen but we'll see hopefully like i kind of plan to do a few of these videos um, i hate using the term getting back on track because that can that can mean any like i don't i don't know that can also be triggering to some people but also like what is getting back on track you know um but i guess sort of getting back to my old or even better physical um, state where I feel confident, I feel strong, I feel healthy. So I think that's what I will focus my sort of like video series on. Um, I do have a like a gin and yoga event tomorrow that I'm going to with my friend Sarah. Hopefully I will record a bit of that. That will be in my next video along with the restaurant I'm going to with my friend Tash on Sunday, which I'm so excited. It's a new one in Glenelg. So I will try and record the next few days because I'm going to be out and about. And I'll sort of record it as maybe like how I'm like eating um, socially and like at home and working out and all of that. So hopefully I'll upload that maybe next week, Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish cleaning up my face and washing um, off my makeup. And I will talk to you guys uh, in my next video. So if you've come this far in this video, which I don't even know how it has turned out because I haven't even been tracking it. I've just been like picking up the camera throughout the day with no plan in sight. So we'll see when I'm editing. Um, please don't forget to like this video, comment below and also subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.